Well, let's summarize what we saw in this module on OSPF. We know that OSPF is a more complex protocol than the other protocols that we've seen thus far, both RIP and EIGRP. And it's more so covered in the CCIE routing and switching exam, but you do need to understand the basics of OSPF. You will see OSPF possibly with DMVPNs and maybe on your ASAs and so on. It does support single and multiple areas. And so we need to be aware of how to configure both single and multiple area OSPF. And we know that it supports both MD5 and plain text authentication and authentication can be configured on an interface or we can apply the key to the interface and then do the rest at the global level within the routing process. So that's a look at OSPF. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next module covering BGP.